Jack, a city man. <laughs> Holy shit, there's two of them. Hey there, and Hero here, sending a virtual YouTube of myself. So you've read the title, and that answer is no. It's all. Okay, okay, okay. All jokes aside, today is gonna be a quick video, maybe? I happen to get my hands on a second Red Devil 570, this time for about 50 bucks. Wow, these things are getting cheap. Crossfire was more or less a dead technology, but trying to get it to work is a pain. It was working at the start, but then it stopped working. I almost came close to just hitting the entire setup with a wrench like a greased up monkey, and it only took reinstalling and installing the drivers multiple times. Anyway, not many games support Crossfire SLI, especially more recent titles. I don't believe DX12 titles support multi GPUs, but someone please let me know, I would definitely appreciate it. Far Cry 5, a 2018 title, scaled very well whenever it did work. There wasn't any flickering of any sort, and it was a smooth experience overall. I won't mind playing like this whenever Crossfire does work. Going from a 66 FPS average to 90 FPS, that is a 36% increase in performance, though the 1% low went from 48 to 46, that's still within margin of error. GTA 5 had a PC release in 2015, so it's still well in the era of multi-GPU solutions. GTA worked almost right off the bat and overall ran very well, with no artifacts and according to the results, a clear improvement all around. Going from 69, nice FPS average to a good 119 or so, which is a 79% improvement. Crossfire won't work with DX12 and will have more problems than anything. Even running the game in DX11, there is flickering everywhere on the title screen and negative scaling. And each time I tried it would crash. So if the game is Crossfire compatible, it's usually better not to even attempt it. Overwatch 2 is a 2022 release, but honestly it's just Overwatch 1 which came out in 2016, so well within the time when Crossfire was still viable. It had, it had a flickering issue, but oddly enough it wasn't too distracting, at least for me. I managed to forget about it, but that's really subjective. Even if it was flickering, it still was a smooth experience. We're going from a 99 FPS to 161, which is a 62% improvement. Metal Gear Solid 5 from 2015 looked smooth and no obvious stuttering issues. I have no idea if I set this game up right, but then again, Metal Gear Solid 5 is a Nvidia title. So it might have something to do with that. However, I actually lost performance here. Not by much, but still went from 94 to 87, which is a uh, negative 7 loss in performance. Apex Legends. Yeah, I'm not dealing with this one. Ooh, look at this. Now to bring it all back to what I said in the beginning. Crossfire in 2023 is not worth it. The RX 570 and other Polaris cards do well enough on their own without a help of a second card. Even then it's too costly and too much time taken from your life if anything goes wrong. Besides, AMD and Nvidia have stopped implementing multi-GPU solutions on their modern cards. AMD has the 500 series be their last Crossfire compatible cards. So the answer is pretty clear moving forward. So do you have SLI or Crossfire? Let me know how it's treated you. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm Anhero. Like if you like and dislike if you don't like it or just hate me. Subscribe if you want to see more. See you next time.